We are now an hour into the closure of all non-essential businesses in Philadelphia. And that's the order city officials made at City Hall this afternoon. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo was in Rittenhouse Square right now to break down what it all means. Matt? Yuki, Philadelphia city leaders called the closing of non-essential businesses unprecedented. It'll now be at least a couple weeks before customers can go and dine in restaurants like here in Rittenhouse. It kind of like startled us to think that it's actually this serious. These two friends went to park in Rittenhouse to grab one last drink and bite to eat. Now that all dining restaurants in Philly will be closed for at least the next two weeks. Everything's shutting down around us and it's just sad to see. Takeout and delivery from restaurants will still be available and there are many businesses deemed essential that will stay open, including supermarkets, pharmacies, daycare centers, banks and post offices. There's no playbook with this with this situation and hopefully what we'll see because of these measures is a flattening of the curve and a kind of calming down of the situation and uh, we'll go as long as we can. But non-essential city services in Philly will also shut down starting Wednesday. Individual department heads are currently determining what operations are essential. Health officials believe the changes will help stop the spread of COVID-19. I don't think we're going to hit the worst case scenario. The actions we're taking today are to prevent us from hitting that worst case scenario. And no word yet on exactly just how many employees might be laid off here in Philadelphia because of this shutdown, but city leaders tell us they are working to ease the financial burden. More details on that are expected to be released in the coming days. Reporting live in Philadelphia's Rittenhouse section, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you.